All right, first it was TB Joshua, then Tibetan. <laughs> There's this guy called Tibetan. I covered the story here last time, but he speaks a lot of Yoruba, so there's not much I can do with this story. But he's getting dragged on the internet space right now, Prophet Tibetan. And then we had the Fei Daniels, we just uh, collected a holy slap from the angels. Shout out to more than conquer more than a conqueror is that what you meant by a slap <laughs> right uh we just collect holy slap and, and now naira is can you believe naira is 15 sorry dollar is 1500 naira today let me correct that really quickly okay dollar is 1500 naira today uh, what does this have to do with shore what does this have to do with Shure? I'm going to play some videos for you so you can see what we're talking about because uh, the madness. Someone said, what does this have to do with TB Joshua? Don't wait now. We're talking about prophets, right? We're talking about prophets. There's a ton of prophets out here. And Shure would like to say he's a prophet too, you know. But let me play let me play this video and then we'll talk. November, Hawaii. In this November month, we are into. If it's a little bit to hand, from this month, the dollar will be ashamed. Yes. Huh? You'll be depressed. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Am I wallet? Hallelujah. Am I wallet? Hallelujah. But back in the February, what is February? Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll let it play again. We are into. Go back to get so uh, we have about less than 48 hours before we hit February. So, maybe we're too fast. <laughs> okay. Let's wait now. February is about less than... It's still over 24 hours away. Not in Nigeria. It's less than 24 hours away from, from Nigeria. But maybe some kind of miracle is going to happen. Um, you know. But, but we're supposed to start seeing signs that dollar will be depreciated against Naira in November. That was back in November. Okay. Nigeria is supposed to start smiling less than 48 hours from now. You know, and it's never too late. You never know what God is going to do. Let me see some of these comments before we continue. Um, I know, okay, this is Tundi Adnot that put this caption, by the way. Tundi Adnot says, Pastor, for this one, oh, you don't lie, better lie. Not Tundi Adnot saying a prophet lied with the full chest. Touch not my anointed. Watch your mouth, bro. Watch your mouth. I know you understand one thing way both the interpreter and the pastor they talk. So why are you commenting? Pregnant men. Did I did I hear dollar price will be deported? I be my hear no hear well. Somebody said they play. Uh pastor said, eh? Why thunder? I know they fired them immediately, then talk rubbish. Um this is this this is a good question for more than a conqueror. We will need this pastor to be slapped. Uh, what did she say? Let me go back to what she said. Um, more than a conqueror. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Uh, you doesn't really fit in the office of a pastor. Uh, it should be a man married to one wife. But I'm looking for the previous comment you made. Uh, <laughs> we will not wait for a long time. Oh, if he carries that his lifestyle to be a pastor, he will surely receive a slap from the angels, angels of God while preaching on the pulpit or altar this is that he wasn't on pulpit he was in his house <laughs> you was in his house but this man is on the altar with a bunch of people before you will get slapped by angels this man will get slapped first and somebody's gonna be like stop dragging men of god pray that the holy spirit will open your eyes so that you can see what is you know the kind of eyes cannot see what we can see well we got a problem we've got a problem okay because all of us have kind of eyes and, and the dollar is a real thing is a real issue i cannot do business with nigeria because my money will just change oh my parada it becomes something else before i finish the business before i did turn around can you imagine and you are now here telling me that kind of eyes anyway these are the issues but Patrick says this fake prophecy wait now wait wait um 
<laughs> until like, until you understand that prayer does not chase poverty, the better you else you will end up shouting amen for 30 years. That's literally what I've seen. I've seen uh, people making noise for 30 years uh, and not doing, you know, just faith, no work. With tattered clothes in churches while pastors send their kids abroad and use escorts as protection and give a stickers to use for protections as a mumu that you are. Heesh. Jesus Christ. I pray Africa get wise. But these so-called 90 representatives called pastors. Heesh. Ouch. He owe dollar a public apology. <laughs> he owe dollar a public apology. He meant to say shame would catch Nara, not dollar. Terrible, terrible. See, the issue here is this. We, some of us can tell at least two months ahead of time that no, dollar is not going to catch shame in two dollars. There's a lot that goes into a currency having the power that it has. And, you know, just the fact that you're doing a bunch of amens is not going to change that. I'm sorry reality right you got to have to produce something for the world to buy from you before your nara can go in that direction got to be careful what you are saying amen to i know kind of mind is not supposed to make sense out of everything but now we're talking about your livelihood and the time you're spending here and the kind of knowledge you're gonna pass along to your kids right i'm not saying don't say amen but like you're gonna be called out don't be surprised when you get called out right they'll tell you that come and collect your own thunder slap and then you'll be like touch not my anointed like no baba you lied no but we can't say you lied yeah you got to be careful when you are addressing the man of god you're right we should men of god the the question is are they men of god that is a big question that people are now starting to ask because where are they getting their messages from? Now, he's not the only one that did that. I don't even know this guy's name. There's literally in the thousands of men of God that do this on a day-to-day -day basis. Forget Sundays. Day-to-day -day basis. They have nothing of substance to teach the, the flock. But except to just say a prayer and a bunch of say, Hey, man. And the people that are saying, hey, man, they are doing it from a, from, from a very, very, ref like, it's basically um it's automatic they're not they're not thinking when they do this amen it's just automatic it just flows some of them are they're thinking about how they're going to eat tomorrow when they do that they've been kind they didn't hear the they didn't hear 90 percent of the sermon that led on to that point you know why because the sermon is of no value to them that's why and i'm talking at a general skill not everyone you know, <sighs> even the interpreter, no believe Yoruba people, eh? <laughs> and then them, they use tribalism, fight other people. You see, this person is a tribalist. Um, but let's leave that alone. But there's another one that I wanted to cover really quickly. Um, before we finish this segment, let me see more than the conqueror say, Oh, I check on the video of Pastor Malamanti meeting in Revival crusade you will see what happened to the pastor on the altar thank god he survived it what happened the the stage collapsed that happens to politicians too more than a conqueror what happened i'll check it i'll check it malamanti pastor malamanti meeting revival crusade let me see let me see what you're talking about reverend malamanti where is it in, in south african or something malamanti meeting uh crusade some some like that shocking incident led walls pastor malama <laughs> let me see what this is don't make me laugh more than the conqueror let's see okay everybody watch with me watch with me Let, let's just watch this together because uh one of us recommended something for us to watch let's see Amen. 
Bas Bosk, Bas Bosk. Let me leave that place really quickly. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's not funny, by the way. All right. That's part of the problems. That's part of the problems. Now, we need that to be consistent across the body. If it's just going to happen one time, that's not God. You see, the work of God is consistent. It happens repeatedly it's over and over. And there are certain formulas that you can make it to happen all the time. We need that slap to go all around. <laughs> oh, you couldn't see the screen? You couldn't. Are you sure you couldn't see the screen? Could you see the screen? Everybody saw that or no? Let me know. I had to close it though. Everybody saw the screen or no? I be mean, it's too tiny, is that what you're saying? I'll play it again. Now, if they slap this video, you will have to. Amen. Amen. All right, we're just going to leave it right there, okay? <laughs> oh, more. Yeah, you saw it. Thank you. It was what I that didn't see it. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so you call, uh, um, she calls it the holy slap. All right, we just need to be able to replicate that a few more times. I'll take that from you. But, you know, Shorei had something to say with regards to this same topic, and I think I think I should play it, okay? Um, let's do it. Well, uh, this country doesn't look like any place where there is governance, and I'm not exaggerating. It used to be that we would say this and people would say, ah, let's wait for them, you know. Uh, maybe more, you need, they need more time. And time and time again, it has been proven that successive Nigerian leaders in the last 23 years have gotten worse progressively. So very soon, and this is heartbreaking, people will be saying that uh, Buhari was a better president. <laughs> very soon. Because... They would say, oh, you know, he did some things now because it's been six months now, I think it's May 29. What is it you have out there to show that anybody here is governing this? Other than, you know, the buying of the SUVs in the legislative and buying cars for the wives, renovating houses for the VP for billions and billions of naira, and then allocating 35,000 naira to workers and then removing the money back. I mean, who on earth? Who is it on earth that can live on 35,000 Naira a month when the value of the Naira has plummeted to almost 100% of what it used to be? Because yeah. at, as of today, Naira is almost 1,250 Naira to a single piece of notes called dollar. And we never would have imagined that the day would come yes. when we would be, you know, seeing that. And I guarantee you, because I predicted this, that listen, Naira would hit 1,000 Naira before the end of the year. I'm short of my prediction. I apologize. But by next year, the dollar will reach 1,500. Hopefully not. Okay. Hopefully, okay. Not. Hopefully I mean, not. Yeah. All right. There you have it. He said he guaranteed it. In any one of them. Uh, Hold on one second. This country doesn't look like any place. He said he guaranteed it. So Shawura is a better prophet than a lot of the people that we call prophets in Nigeria Christianity at least. Probably around the world, you know. Listen, the whole idea of a prophet in 2024, uh, don't be surprised if it's going to continue to become more and more obsolete. Even the title is going to carry a certain uh, connotation that nobody will want to associate with. It just wouldn't make any sense. Okay, the technologies are making better predictions using real real life data, and um, and that's where Shawara is coming from. I mean, you can easily just that wasn't exactly a prediction. Just look at the progression over the last thirty years. There's patterns everywhere. It's the same thing with your relationships. You can, if you pay attention enough, there's patterns. If you stop lying to yourself, you can see red flags. Yes, you can. Right. Not not the one that everybody is calling red flags. I'm just saying patterns that you see that this behavior, you know, we know that change is constant, but we also know that the core, the core element of what makes up people really don't change. Their temperament, their personality, what they can do with a lot of those things is to manage it. That's what everybody else does. They manage what they got. 
that's what the greatest nations in the world do they manage what they have there's no nation that's perfect that's what the rest of the other currencies do they're not perfect they just manage what they got they understand that you must produce no, no, like not just produce a bunch of prayer points. You produce, actually serve something that other people can consume, can take advantage of that will make their lives better, that will enhance their life, make their life easier, better, simpler, all of that faster, right? Actual things, tangibles, not touchable, but actual tangibles that will actually enhance their lives. The only way we are able to enhance people's lives is by giving them just a little hope to get on to tomorrow and that can be very useful that's one thing and i can appreciate religion for but at some point you gotta have some substance to that right you have to now uh, especially when you are in a marketplace i eat lujara the other nations are producing singapore is producing then you're gonna have to produce if you don't produce there's no amount of prayer that's going to change the value of the currency And you just found out that that's not common sense because all of these people will claim that they have common sense. Every single one of them, every single last one of them will claim that they have common sense. If you're not producing, you can't get. It's very simple. You're not giving, you can't get. Right? If you're focused on taking, all you do is import, 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 your currency will continue to deteriorate. But I bet, so by 2018, I invested 20 million naira in Nigeria. Everything was working great for at least one month. Crazy leaders and clueless pastors. This is the reality. That's the reality. So if you're going to have prayer point, let's start with leaders. That nation has no leaders in every sense of it, even including in the religious body. There's no leaders. Because leaders will say, hey, hey, we cannot we cannot just be shouting for no reason. We, we're going to need a little bit more than just shouting in these cases, you know. But, you know, shouting goes a long way because it inspires you. It makes you feel like things are better than they are. And then before you know it, time has gone and you don't collect. And then everybody's hungry. And then Nara don't plummet all the way from 200. I started paying attention at maybe about 180 80 Naira to $1. And I watched it literally deteriorate $1,500 today. All right. That's in the midst of all this prophecy and all this kind of stuff. And the holy slap and the, there's no holy slap. The only holy slap you're going to see is that currency will continue to deteriorate for everybody. Everybody is suffering from it. Everybody. And everybody has to take responsibility for it too. Because the leaders that are there right now, they don't exist without your endorsement literally they do not exist without your endorsement but the longer they stay there the the more they're going to keep having more power to stay there because you you yield to them the, the money they steal is literally what is becoming the economy nigeria produces nothing nothing and it's very simple they need to start producing even if it's at least the food they eat Right, and there's certain policies and regulation that needs to go in place to also to incentivize that, and they need to be drastic. But he's right, and sadly, he's right. When I predicted that Tinubu was going to win, it's because the mindset of the people is obvious. They're going to vote him back into office, right? And I did predict something that I'm not very proud of back in 2019 right i'm not proud of it because i wasn't really paying attention to the mindset of the people i really thought she was going to win i was wrong that was where i learned so when i came back to make prediction in 2023 i'm like oh, tinubu is going to win because at this point in time i'm like the mindset of the people wins all the time the mindset of the people wins 100 percent of the time so and what i'm looking at it looks like tinubu is going to win not because I saw some heaven angel is going to wear some clothes and then it's going to get picked up like Fei Daniels said. No. No, just the mindset of the people. The fact that there's a Fei Daniels and there's a bunch of people following Fei Daniels. That is enough to get Tinubu to get into the office. That's all it takes. Just mindsets. <laughs> right? 
That's all it takes. The people, what they want, they get what they want, even if they don't agree that that's what they want. They get exactly what they want. You know? But, story for another day. But I bet some Tinubu didn't win the election. Please, it was stolen. You can say it that way too. Listen, you're right. Let's say it that way. Um, what I predicted was that Tinubu is going to be in that office. Oh, I, 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 I... No, no, you're right. You're oh, right. I, 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 I... You're right. You're still right. It's the one in the office, isn't it? He has the mandate of the people. Stolen or not. You can interpret everything I said in the last five minutes as stolen. Right? But it's impossible without the people endorsing it. We can question the electoral process, of course. <laughs> Adorable say, I heard that, that it was also a forex trader. <laughs> Listen. Ah, just leave it at that. I got one more story to cover. I'm doing well today with my time, so I got one more story to cover, you know. And I want I want all of your take on this one. Uh, um, you know, I'm actually gonna read some comments. Uh, there's something I also change. Come back here if you can hear me, please. I need you to listen to something. Maybe you will hear it uh, better than I will. But I'll be back in 20 seconds. Your love that I've been missing. I miss all your hugs, your touching and kissing. Me love on the floor, the coaching, the kitchen. One love enough, we done enough. 